a very good morning to my dear students so today we are going to begin with practice set 1 of our first lesson that is geometrical construction before this children we have revised few parts or few concepts from standard 6 isn't it later on we had learned about the property of angle bisector of the sides of a triangle and also the perpendicular bisector of the sides of a triangle yes so after studying this two properties now we are going to move on to our first practice set okay so this practice set is few questions are the revision of what we have learned in standard 6 okay so here our first question is draw line segments of the lens given below so these are the lens we have to draw line segment of this lens and then draw their perpendicular bisectors so children here we are having three questions that is 5.3 cm 6.7 cm and third question 3.8 cm okay so i'm going to solve the question for you that is 6.7 cm okay and then remaining two questions you will solve on your own because this is the same revision what we have done in 6 and also we have seen in our part 1 and part 2 videos okay so now let's start with the construction of perpendicular bisector so now let us solve the sum 6.7 cm yes so first we are going to draw a line segment of 6.7 cm so i am going to arrange my scale in this way okay and i will mark zero first after that i'll search for 6.7 it will come after 6 so 6 is here 0.5 is here and here are the next two marking that is 6.7 so i'll draw a line segment of measure 6.7 so i'll name it a this one as b and i'll write here 6.7 cm now i'll take compass with a pointed pencil in it i'll keep on a okay and more than half distance i'll take and i'll draw an arc up and one arc i'll be drawing down after that without changing the distance i'll keep my compass on point b where will i keep on point b and i'll draw an arc up and arc down okay after drawing i'll get two points yes in this arcs so if i if you want you can just make it just point it out from this arc with the help of compass in this way okay now we will again take pencil and scale and you will join this two points in this way okay so when you will join you will get a line which will be perpendicular to 6.7 okay and you will show your right angle because perpendicular bisector always makes an angle of 90 degree with the line segment and now we are going to label this two three points two we are getting at arc suppose here if i label l then here i label m okay and wherever it is intersecting that point will label as n okay so segment and it also divides the line segment into two equal parts so we'll show a two small lines in this way okay so if you will divide this or if you'll see this measurement then it will be exactly half of 6.7 that is 3.3 after that little bit and 6.4 between sorry 3.4 and 3.3 middle it will be so now let's check whether it is correct or wrong okay so here i'll just keep my scale properly if you will see then 
here is my 3.3 exactly i have got in between that okay so whatever construction i have done it is correct okay so in this way you are going to solve question 1 first and third sum now let's move on to the second question draw angles of the measures given below so here are the measures of that measures we have to draw angles and draw their bisector so first we are going to draw the angles and later on we are going to bisect those angles okay so here we will construct an angle of 105 degree okay so now let's start so here i'll show you how to draw an angle of 105 degree okay everybody pay attention it's very very easy okay so first you will draw a base line in this way i'm going to show you how to draw it in this way okay so after drawing this line you'll give a point here yes and here you are going to show a arrow means we have drawn a ray okay now you will take a protractor and the center of protractor you will keep on this point suppose we'll name it as b and here we'll name it c then we'll keep on b in this way so after keeping it on b what we are going to do children we'll mark 105 Now, how to mark? See, children, the ray is on a right hand side, so you will use right hand side zero. Did you understand? So this is zero, and if you will go like this and search, then here we are getting hundred, and here is hundred and ten. In between this, whatever marking is there, that will be our hundred and five. Okay. So now let's mark it in this way. here we will get 105 now we'll take our protractor aside and we will join these two points with the help of scale and pencil okay so now after joining we will name it here a so now we are having a angle abc of measure 105 degree okay now we'll see how to draw angle bisector of this angle okay so i'll take compass and i'll keep on point b i'll take some little distance in the pencil and in the compass and i'll draw an arc in this way okay so after drawing arc what i'll do i will label the points wherever the arc are are intersecting the angle suppose here l m okay now so now i'll take the point of the compass on i'll keep it on l okay and i'll draw an arc here now without changing the distance i'll keep compass on m in this way and i'll draw an arc here okay so after drawing an arc i will get a point of intersection of two arcs i'll just make it little bit visible or i'll press it ha huh? now i'll take my scale and i'll join this point to vertex b in this way and whatever i have bisect i have now drawn the bisector okay so now this angle is divided into two equal parts what is half of 105 hundreds half is 50 and fives half is 2.5 so this bisector should be in between 52 and 53 yes so we'll just check it out whether it is correct or wrong so now if you will check it is exactly between 52 and 53 this tells us that our bisector whatever we have constructed it is accurate okay and here you have to label hmm? suppose we we'll label it as o yes so this way we are going to draw the angle bisector i hope you have understood it you are going to draw the remaining two sums 
sum number 2 and 3 from this question okay so total six sums six constructions you will have in question 1 and 2 so do the construction neatly as i have shown you all label it properly